What's up, y'all? It's King Carlos Super. I want to talk about something. Black people. <coughs> we hardly come together at all, bro. You know, we really don't. We hardly come together at all. Um, and we don't come together over the stupidest reasons. You know, I ain't gonna say it's not an anger in it between us stuff like that over serious things, but a lot of it's stupid, man. Like, a lot of people come up with ideas. They're good ideas. Like, you could have somebody black come up with an idea, and maybe they're real educated, uh, they come from a really good community and stuff like that, and because of those reasons, maybe the people in the more poverty areas. He come up with an idea that aims at those areas because, like I said, he comes from a well, he comes from a, a good background, bro. Like, a, a, you know what I'm saying? A well-furnished household. A well-fed household. You know what I'm saying? That was financially good. And But because he comes from that, people mad. That, they can't control the situation. But people mad at the situation he grew up in, so nobody want to listen to him. So there nobody comes up, nobody comes up with over his idea. Like, no one comes together over his idea, right? We don't use it. But then, okay. <coughs> you can reverse that because somebody from the community <coughs> could come up with an idea. <coughs> that is a real, quote unquote, real nigga or whatever. And you got people that in the well impoverished black communities that know that they feel lonely they know that they feel the same guilt that a lot of blacks feel to make it out you feel that you feel the guilt because you know how what we come from how hard it is and i'm you almost feel bad for having money and a lot of the real black people that's honest with themselves they know what i'm talking about but the ones who ain't i don't give a shit bro you know but um yeah man it's fucked up and then nobody will come together with his idea because oh man, he comes from he's he he he's a gangster and stuff like that. He he's a man, so he may have a record or oh man, he has tattoos. Look at him because his image is something stupid, stupid, bro. So nobody will come together over see his idea. We got a lot of sisters. I mean, our women come up with more great ideas than, than us sometimes. Really, they do, man. Our women write our best books about our community and what we go through, our past, our present, our future. Our, our women, our queens. Um, but the, sometimes, not all, not, not, I won't say the best teachers, because sometimes they'll let their emotions come in when they're teaching. And men do too, but I'm saying like for the, the, the way it originally was before a lot of, a lot of us men were like originally raised in a two parent household with a father and a mother, we were taught to be more stern than your sister. Just naturally you were, but now, you know, a lot of men, are, a lot of us are raised by our mothers, including me, bro. So you, we're gonna be more emotional and stuff like that. But I'm not trying to take nothing away from women with that, but you know, but they are, man. But, and no, and so, but I'm, well, forgive me, forgive me. I just, I just literally correct myself. So for now, the women are our best teachers, you know. Um, they go through so much. They, they, they rise quicker the legal way. They rise through corporate America. They rise through education the medical field, way, you know what I'm saying? Quicker than everybody. They never get anything for it. And then we drag them down, you know, we drag them down. Whenever our sister, you know what I'm saying, a lot of our queens become nurses, we wanna get them to steal shit from the hospital and do all this bullshit so they can get caught. And, you know, and then now, she done ruined her degree and became a stereotype, and, you know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's crazy shit, man. You got, you know what I'm saying? We won't come together over because, um, like, I don't know religion. I think, you know, religions and shit. Some people are Christian, some Muslims. Some blacks are Egyptology. Some some blacks are Hebrew. Like, I believe, like, I, like I say this, and I'm not trying to be, I know people are going to get angry and not to get angry. But I'm not, you know what? I'm not even going to say it because of me saying it would cause division and this is what I'm talking about. I should leave that to the side. So I'm gonna say he some people are Hebrew. I'm not gonna act like mine's is no. It doesn't matter. Right now, mine's goes in the same category as everyone else's. 
it's not important right now. What's important is us coming together, bro. And those are the things I'm talking about. We need to be having them kind of discussions. Like, bro, if you might you might be Egyptology. You might be Christian with all black people. We need to put that aside and say, you know what? You have children. I have children. You're a black man. I'm a black man or you're a black woman. I'm a black man. You're a black woman. I'm a black woman. However it be. Those are the truths. Those are the bonds that are going to bond us together. Forget the other things that separate us. Let's focus on what bonds us together. That's all the things that separate us are going to do. We'll talk about is bickering and we're going to start a debate and we're going to just move separate more separately apart. So, I don't know, man. You have to pick and choose our battles. The when to stand up and go against, when to like, you know, because there's time for debates, but not now. Maybe in our, maybe in the times of us being in like, um, our quiet moments, I mean, that just, you know, us amongst brothers and amongst sisters, we can have those debates about stuff like that in our community. But when things are more important, I'm not saying we can't come together with other people, but there's a lot of people that are not black who, who really do love our people, who really do are compassionate about what happens to us and they, they're very, very um, focused minded about making things better, just like I am. So, you know, I'm gonna, we can leave that aside and we're gonna address that when it's time. When people come with love, we can take love. When, when it's time to show, hey, when they show aggression or when we feel something is wrong, we can spray it off. We know, we know how to accept real love and fake love, you know? But that's all the video is about, bro. Just us blacks coming together, dude. More than just going apart. Um, loving our women again, bro. Like, protecting our women and not caring just because we're sleeping with them that we need to protect them. It's not just because I wanna have sex with you, I'm having sex with you. I just don't want you to be, you know, raped or or tra trafficked or human trafficked or you know just um um i don't know out here pimped um i don't want to see you in an abusive relationship not because i want to be with you but because i just want to see you do good we can bring that back instead of oh nah man if i ain't fucking the fuck that bitch you know no nah, no nah. just because you're not sleeping with her or that's just you're not just because i'm not, you're not fucking her she's still a sister bro that's my mama my sister that could be anybody in my family any woman in my family we need to go back to that bro Seriously, that was a beautiful fucking time. It was a beautiful fucking time to be black, bro. And those are the things we need to bring back. Not the separation. All the reasons to come together again, not the reasons to not come together, you know? But um, you guys let me know what you think.